Good morning, everybody. This is Christiane from Backpacking Bananas coming at you today from beautiful, quirky Wudge. I'm going to be sharing with you in this video some of the very best things that you can do in the city, which is right in the heart of Poland, in the region of Wudge, and why it's the perfect weekend getaway, especially when you're on a budget, because it's so cheap. We put our boarding pass. We we're ready. You can fly from London Sandstead straight to Wudge Airport for under £20 one way with Ryanair. That's literally cheaper than my return commute train into London. Which was actually voted the second best value travel destination by Lonely Planet in 2019. It had itself a bit of a grey reputation. It was actually known as Grey Wudge after World War II. But in the past decade, it's been dusting itself off, reinventing itself to be a super cool city to visit, inspired by creative people with so many things to do and without the extortionate tourist prices. So you may have noticed that Wudge is actually spelt as Lods, which is what I've literally been calling it the whole time. And it's mad how difficult and different the Polish words are so I've got Magda here to, who's going to help us with some basic phrases to help us get around the country. So how do you say hello? Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień. 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 Dobry. Dobry. Okay. Yes, excellent. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I'm really. going to remember that. Thank you. Dziękuję. 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 Excellent. Dziękuję. Kuję. Yes, perfect. <laughs> How much is it? Ile to kosztuje? Ile? Oh my Ile? 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 To? To? Kosztuje. Kosztuje. Excellent. Ile? With, a, with a Russian accent, but oh, yeah. almost excellent. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Ile to kosztuje? Ile to kosztuje? Perfect. Oh, yes. Where is the bathroom? Gdzie jest toaleta? Gdzie jest toaleta? Mm -hmm. Gdzie jest toaleta? Gdzie jest toaleta? Excellent. Gdzie? Gdzie? It's, it's, Gdzie? it's the hard one. Gdzie? 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 Gdzie jest toaleta? And what about, how do I say, one, two, three, four, five? Mm -hmm. Jeden. Jeden. Dwa. Dwa. Trzy. Trzy. Cztery. Cztery. Pięć. Pięć. Oh my goodness. We've got some kind of, you know, accent. Yeah. Really soft one. Yeah. For example, pięć. 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 Jeden. Jeden. Dwa. Dwa. Trzy. Trzy. Cztery. Cztery. <laughs> pięć. 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 One beer, please. Poproszę jedno piwo. Poproszę. Sorry. Poproszę. Poproszę. Jedno piwo. Jedno piwo. Poproszę jedno piwo. Poproszę jedno duże piwo. Big one. Poproszę oh. jedno duże piwo. But, <laughs> but I normally have wine. So actually, how do I say wine? Wino. Wino. Oh, that one's a good one. So poproszę, poproszę wino. Poproszę lampkę. lampkę poproszę lampkę. A of wine. Ah, poproszę po lampkę wina. Poproszę lampkę wina. Poproszę lampkę wina. Yes. We're going to need that one for later. <laughs> So this street is just great. It's called Piotrkowski Street and it is the longest shopping road in the whole of Poland. You've literally got pretty much everything that there is to do in Łódź down this street. It's over four kilometers long. So you just take a walk and you see all the shops, the bars, the cafes, the restaurant, literally everything that there is to do is down this street. You've got Liberty Square celebrating Poland's freedom. So it was actually just last week that Poland celebrated a hundred years of being an independent country. Also down here, you've got incredible architecture, incredible street art, and there's actually, we haven't reached here yet, but there's a little place called Holly Wood. And if you see that written down, it looks a bit odd. It looks like Holly Lodz, but if you pronounce it correctly as Holly Wood, it makes a lot more sense because there are some stars on the floor, like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And just off of Piotrkowska Street, you've got off Piotrkowska Street, of course. Um, and it's like hipster haven, basically. You've got some really cool cafes, barbers, boutiques. It's a really great place to come if you're looking for something to eat or just something a little bit different, a little bit cooler. A big thing that you will notice when you come to Witch is just how cheap the food and drink is. So my latte, which has gone down, which was really nice, 20 pence. 20 pence for like proper, proper coffee. Our meals were three pounds each. So for the whole of our breakfast, the two of us, including coffees, six pounds, six pounds. How's the coffee? Mm, it's really good actually. Banana seal of approval. I love the fact that there's literally street art around every corner. No matter where you're walking or for how long, you're never really gonna have a boring walk. There was 
over 400 textile factories in Wuj back in the day and it's become such a fun and creative place that they've transformed a lot of these factories into really exciting places of leisure and things to do. So this is the biggest one, is Manufactura. So you've got shopping centres here. You've got MS Squared, which is the oldest contemporary art museum in the whole of Europe. There's a cinema here. You've got a big complex in the middle where in the summer they make it into a beach. In the winter they've got an ice skating rink and everyone just comes here to hang out and it's basically the place to be. If you're just wanting something to do in Wuj, definitely come to Manufactura and there's going to be something here for you. There's a museum for literally everything and the Museum of Chocolate is literally right there but unfortunately it's closed early so we can't go today. But if you are a museum junkie, you certainly will not get bored in Wuj. Just to make it that little bit better, there are over 40 urban parks in Wood City, which is unbelievable. And today we've come to Park Zrodlitsky. I think I'm saying that correctly. When you come to somewhere like this, it's hard to believe that this city was ever really known as Great Wood. The sun has gone down, so it's now time for Proproshka Laudgaun Vina. I think that's how you said one wine, please. We're going to a place that was recommended to us called Wuj Kaliska. This is a well-known bar club in Wuj, which is supposedly like a labyrinth. Um, so I'm really intrigued to see what it's going to be like. It's kind of, um, it feels um, like really like Caribbean. It's time for us to go home. I'm going to miss Wudge. Would you like to come back? Yeah, I think I would. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one somewhere else in this beautiful world that we live in. Bye.